<laughs> yeah, I'm hit. Yeah, so he got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Congratulations. Um, and I don't know if they're still together or not, so I'm going to say former Spice Girl Mel B has decided to check into rehab for alcohol and sex addiction. I believe it, man. That's uh, that's Eddie Murphy, baby mama. That's the one he knocked up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's writing a book right now and uh, about the title of Booty and Honest, and she says, and I quote, it has been unbelievably traumatic reliving an emotionally abusive relationship and confronting so many massive issues in my life. And so just having to go through all of that, she's decided that, you know, she's going to check in um, to to rehab. But she states that it's not about, you know, like an addiction to sex or um, alcohol. It's just she, she felt that she needed this, this time for herself. So, yeah. um, good luck to Mel B with rehab. Speaking of Aretha, you know, every picture you saw her in, she always had a fur coat on, right? Um, whether it be, you know, like the waist length, the floor, they was mostly floor when she be performing. I watched several performances over the past week or two of her performing, you know, from different, and I, like, I don't even know how you do it because, first of all, you got a gown on that's heavy and hot. Then you got this fur coat on that's heavier and hotter. I don't how she did it with breaking a sweat. <laughs> I would never know. But uh, PETA, which is short for the people for the ethical treatment of animals, they tacky asses. They have already asked her niece to donate all of her furs um, to their fur donation program. Now, according to Grio. The program recycles the furs and gives them to people in need, such as um, people in refugee camps and homeless shelters. They sent a letter to her niece, um, Sabrina, asking her, you know, first they they offered their condolences and they said, you know, how she was such a staple in the African-American community. No, just if you look at that funeral and who was invited, you know, she was um, influential in America and and abroad, you know what I'm saying. So it wasn't just limited to the mm-hmm. African American community, right mm-hmm. there off top. Um, then they go on to say, you know, that they want to the estate to, you know, think about donating the furs, um, what the furs will be used for. And then they say, you know, previous celebrities have donated. You know, they list like Angelica Houston, um, Mariah Carey, um, just you know, as if to say, you know, well, these people have done it, so. You can do what you. I hope they don't. I hope they don't. Do your own recycling and do what you want to do with them. Don't give them to them, though. No. Don't do that. Um, we talked about B and Jay Z last week and how Columbia, South Carolina now has that official um, Beyonce Knowles Carter and Sean Carter Day, which is August 21st. Well, at this phase in the tour, they have grossed more than $150 million um, on this tour. So according to Ebony, uh, they have announced that more than $1 million from ticket sales will be awarded to 11 students living in the city on the U.S. leg of the tour. So I'm, like, ready to move because, you know, I got a senior, right? I'm ready to move to one of these cities, and you know, because your child has to be in – that city, you know, so if you're from Atlanta, then you'll be able to submit. I'm sure there's more guidelines and criteria that they haven't listed, but the people in Columbia, South Carolina, you'll be able to, you know, submit for your child. Um, but the Be Good, which is B-E-Y, Good, and the Sean Carter Foundation, uh, they have spearheaded the program, and they're going to be giving each recipient $100,000 towards their college tuition. So big up to them right there for that. I'm not sure where they are on the tour. Um, I mean, number-wise, I don't know, you know, if they have like four more cities or what. Um, But last weekend, they were in Atlanta, and I think they had two shows in Atlanta. And at the end of the show, um, an intoxicated fan, he charged the stage. 
and that was that was the first night of the tour in Atlanta. And a statement was released the next day from the Carter's team saying that, you know, all is well, you know, nobody was really affected by it, and they decided not to press charges. Well, that didn't stop the Atlanta uh, police from charging the man. So according to Hollywood Reporter, 26-year-old Anthony Charles Thomas Maxwell, um, he was originally issued a citation for disorderly conduct. But then police, you know, now they've added the charge of simple battery. I wonder will um, B and J like pay for his lawyer or whatever. Man, he <laughs> that's should. Gonna be that's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out. No, nah, but I'm with them people. Them people like they do it right. Like my nigga, you already didn't pay three hundred dollars to get in here, and like you, if you close enough, risk it all. Damn it. You know, <laughs> no, 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 no. It all. His ticket had to be more than three hundred dollars, unless he was at the stage. Because I saw on um, on IG yesterday how somebody had gifted their friend with tickets. It was like like it's gonna be a double date, and they spent twenty two thousand dollars on front row tickets. So tickets were fifty five hundred dollars piece. I don't love nobody that much, no artist that I'm about to pay fifty five hundred dollars to go see him. Not I, mm, 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 even if I had the money like that, mm 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 mm. We going shopping. I'm gonna get some cheap chicken and we going shopping with the rest of the money. That's what happens. But uh, yeah, if you that close, yeah, you might as well go ahead and make a moment of it, which is what he did on Tuesday, the twenty eighth. No, 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 let me back up, back up, back up. Marlon Wayans is teaming up with Netflix again. Um, this time, he'll be working on a new comedy titled Sex Tuplets. And he wrote the comedy, and it's based on, all right, this, so this is how it goes. Alan, which is Marlon Wayans, is a man who's embarking on a personal journey to meet his birth mother before the arrival of his first child. And when Allie meets his brother Russell, he discovers that he was born a sex tuplet and decides to seek out his four other siblings. Now, all the siblings are played by him. That's the twist. So together, the two brothers set out on a road trip to track down the rest of the family that they've never known. And Alan quickly realizes that he may have gotten more than he bargained for. This film goes into production um, next month in Atlanta. So again, that's sex tuplet uh, starring... Martin Wayans in six different roles and uh, on Netflix. I'm I'm gonna watch that. I want to see that. But uh, Tuesday, the 28th, Quavo sat down with Point One's Angie Martinez while they were in New York. Cause you know they're on tour. Aubrey and the is it the Three Migos? Is just the Migos? Anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. They're on tour, and so he sat down with Angie Martinez to say that he does have an upcoming single project that's coming out. Now, earlier in August, he dropped three tracks. We talked about that briefly, how they own all that good, you know. Um, So I can only imagine what the rest of this is going to sound like. But he did say that um, the album will drop in September. So be looking for that Quavo new project. Mm -hmm. Uh, it ain't gonna be shit. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, like answers, like I'm not anticipating. I'm not because you know he didn't show me anything with those three. No, tracks. like oh, I think, God. like you can't be that comfortable. I think um I read this um I think maybe Paul McCartney was the one who said this maybe, but he's like if you too like being too comfortable in life and having everything you want is not a space for creativity. Like, it's hard for you to really dive deep when you're that comfortable in life. If you can look at their videos and performances and see they're not even trying no more. So yeah, I can't no, assume it, that you're going to go into the studio and really try to come up with some next-level shit here. And that's kind of what those songs sounded like. You wasn't even trying. You just, <laughs> I'm going to do this, you know. So, California has become the first state to eliminate the cash bail system. Under a new law signed by Governor Johnny Nogeri, Governor Jerry Brown 
suspect awaiting trial will be able to leave jail without having to post bail. The system will go into effect in October of 2019, and he did state that um, he wanted, you know, the poor people and the rich people to now have be on the same level. Um, so, because they felt like, you know, with the poor people, they weren't able to post bail, and so they would just sit there. And so now with just being eliminated, they don't have that problem. So, uh, you seen those new glow in the dark shoes? Um, I, I did actually though. So Kanye got That's them EB three fifties dropping. Um, they glow in the dark. Be on the lookout. I don't think I'm gonna cop a pair of them because they probably gonna be yeah. twenty two hundred dollars. Yeah, no, I got, um, I got kids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? I was just walking. I, I was just walking by. Uh, <laughs> and you know, back in the day, I think LA Gear was the one who came out with the, the hey. shoes that light up in the box. Yes, LA yeah. Gear. Wow. Yeah. So I'm at Walmart and I walk past the shoe aisle and I was like, hold on. Did them, did them shoes light up at the bottom? Because of the way that they were made, you know, it was clear at the bottom. And I was like, I called my daughter and I was like, okay, this shoe light up at the bottom. And she was like, yeah, mom, they over here in the kids' section back. Watch me. I can get in this kids' shoe. This look big enough for me. So I want these light up right here. Not only do they light up, but you can recharge them. <laughs> my daughter was like, mine don't buy them shoes. One, they yeah, ugly. My kids got, got, got light shoes. Man, I want a pair of light up shoes. Like, I want you to see me. Yeah, coming. like um, my, my mom got them for them. Where the shoes light up at the bottom. It changed yeah. the color that the shoe is at the bottom. Like it could be red, blue, yellow, orange, all that shit. Tell your mom it's my birthday coming up in January. It's going to hook me up with a light up shoe. Yeah, yeah, for real. They fly. Yes. All right, so in 2016, Young Money and Cash, Cash Money, that's a lot of money. Young Money and Cash Money, um, I'm talking about uh, Tiger. Right now, so in 2016, Young Money and Cash Money they agreed to um, run him all the royalties that were promised to him over the 2009. He agreed to do like two projects, three, three projects, and um, he was supposed to get you know the royalties from those. Projects. So over five years, nothing has happened. He hasn't received anything. So he's suing Young Money, Cash Money for ten million dollars. Um, and unpaid royalties that he claims he is owed. That's crazy. Like, how do you? No, no money, no nothing, no. And why you let this shit go on for so long? And he needs the money. I'm, I'm, t- I'm tired of seeing shit from him. That shit get draining for me. It ain't even my shit. <laughs> for real. He do yeah, he he that friend. He I'm so tired of the little braids he's wearing. Mm-mm. He need the money for real. Hell yeah, April. Hey, you need to... uh... All right, so Wednesday, the Wednesday, the 29th, according to page six, DJ Khaled is launching a new furniture line. Um, it's going to be called We the Best Home Furniture. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> The furniture features uh, statement pieces designed to elevate your home into a new level of expression, um, a luxury living, and, of course, winning. So shout out to Khaled for his new furniture line, We the Best Home Furniture. Um, Lil Pump was arrested in Miami. Lil Pump, 18-year-old Lil Pump, was arrested in Miami for driving without a valid license. I don't know why the car was stopped initially. Maybe because it looked a little suspect, you know, this white Rolls Royce running down the street, and they ran the tag. Well, apparently the tag uh, belonged to a Mini Cooper, and it took me a minute to get it because, you know, I, it was like, <laughs> tag, tag belonged to Mini Cooper. They forgot to say a Mini Cooper, and everything was capitalized, and I was like, well, who the hell is Mini Cooper? And then it clicked. The car. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. So the tags along on this Mini Cooper told the cops that, you know, he didn't have a license. And 
they arrested him. Well, you got to see the mugshot because this 